Test, 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 test. Are we live? Are we good? I think we are. Greetings, people viewing this live stream. It is I, Silapse, and today we are back with some more Monster Prom. Because I have already developed an obsession with this game, and this is only my third time playing it. So that's fun. Also, it's so hot. I have a very loud fan on in my room, but I have to point it away from myself to not interfere with mic audio. So I'm going to be super sweaty and hate it. However, I do want to stream, so there's that. Also, I can barely hear myself when I talk, it's so loud. I don't know if you guys can pick up on it, but it's there, and it is not fun. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I wanted to see if I could round anybody up to, to play this. So I went around on places just like, hey, anybody, anybody want to play some Monster Prom with me? You know, around this time, relatively. Uh, I got no reply from anybody. So I was just like, all right, uh, close enough to the time. I'm just going to start. That way, you know, I can also go to sleep after at a faster rate. Sorry. Anyways, I don't see Zoe on this screen. Hold on. Let's give it a minute real quick. We want to make sure everyone's included. I've seen a couple of the coaches, space boyfriends, the the hunter lady, I think, is what Mox and Co. said. Uh, even a cultist. There's even a cultist. But where is Zoe? Where is she? I've seen a lot of uh, Calculester. But where's Zoe? There's Calculester. Calculester. Bring forth, quite literally, the best character in the game, please. This is going to be my new form of a starting soon screen. We're just going to wait until we can find Zoe. Okay, we got Feel the Eel, that's cool. Now what about Zoe? One of, you know, the main romance options. Actually, I'm gonna fix something on Streamlabs while I'm at this, because I notice it's just not quite what I was hoping for. Um, 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 um. Where is the thing to fix this? Not that. Not that. Uh. Shoot, I forget how I did it before. Oh well. I want to fix my little thing. I have, I have a thing that needs fixing. Uh, library, app store, grow. Highlighter, not that. Hold on, we'll get to the monster prom in a minute. Just gotta figure some stuff out real quick. All widgets? No. Alert box? No. Uh, themes and overlays? No, it wasn't this. How the heck did I do this? Great, I was able to turn it down yesterday, but I can't turn it up today because I've lost it. Uh... Well, this is unfortunate because I can barely see the, the chat this time. Count... Oh, there it is. Settings. I'm sure it's in here. Uh, count settings... No, not those. Tip history, subscriber history. You can view that? Oh, who was my first ever subscriber? I bet it was Tom. It was Tom. So far, I have had four whole different subscribers in my uh, existence. Which, now I'm confused about something. Tom's been a subscriber for nine months. But he's only got four. I thought they go up in increments. Oh wait, no, he's got three. Oh well. 
Uh, I can't find how to fix my chat, so I guess I'm just not gonna do that then. Okay, so if I miss messages, it's just even worse. One player, by myself, second term, because why the heck would we not go for the term that Zoe is in? Excuse me, I'm not gonna read the intro though, because this is always the same, I'm pretty sure. So, we've played as her in our first playthrough with Mox and Co. Uh, we played as him in our second go, and we dressed up as Naruto and Garfield. So now it's between these two. I like this guy better because he's, you know, wearing a green shirt. Uh, this person is actually my least favorite out of this group. She just, she's the most human. It's like you've got a zombie, Frankenstein, and... What is he supposed to be again? And isn't it like an embodiment of fear? I don't quite recall. But it's like, she just looks the most, like, normal person. Her thing is, she just has fire for hair. I mean, she's quite literally a lava girl, except lava girl's hair wasn't actually on fire until, like, a certain part, I think. So we're gonna go with the green guy today. Brian. Brian. Uh... No, I'm gonna go with Silapse again. Yay, my name yeah. is me. And yeah, I know about this. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you, lady. <laughs> Thank you, other lady. Thank you, guy. Thank you, guy. <laughs> Thank you, best girl, but I don't know who voices you because I forget the name, but I've seen it before. <sighs> Thank you, Calculester, voiced by Jack Septicai. <laughs> and thank you, lady. I didn't mean to thank him as Calculester, but it's what I did. Okay, time for a quiz. If you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? Uh, a great white shark. If I have to fuck an animal, let's at least make it a story worth telling. Uh, a swan. They're classy, plus it reminds me of that myth of Leda, uh, Leda, and the swan. So at least my bestiality standards, it has a certain chick appeal. Uh, a human being, because I'm the kind of douchebag who loves to find loopholes in stupid questions like this. That sounds about right. <laughs> Uh, but the other ones were creative and charming, and I know those appeal to Zoe more. Oh, well. How would you talk a cop out of arresting you? Sir, please, I have a gun, probably. You should surrender. Uh, oh, I wish Mox was here. I see option two. Uh, use your acting skills. Convince the officer you're actually the police. You know what? Go for the overkill and make them pay you a fine. Uh, use your gaming skills. Everyone knows that a police officer has to drop any charges on you if you manage to beat them at a fair Yu-Gi-Oh! card duel. Use your seduction skills, wink. Uh, they don't call it fuck the police for nothing. I gotta go with this one. <coughs> If you were a D and D character, what would your or what would be your class? The prettiest one, gun haver, uh, party smith, automaton, money maker, or good boy? Ah, uh, gun haver just sounds threatening. I like it, but. Here's the thing, I was gonna try thinking of whatever Zoe's option is, but I feel like it's not this. Either that, or I'm gonna have to take a shot in the dark. And yes, I am extremely biased and will only be going for Zoe. <laughs> uh, let's go with... Because this sounds like, uh... 
Gorgon Lady. This makes me think of Aaron. I think his name's Scott in this. But, you know, Aaron Game Grumps. Uh, Automaton sounds like... Uh, Calculester. The prettiest one sounds like Mermaid Lady. And Gunhaver makes me think of Damien. So let's go Party Smith. Hey, I got them all correct. Uh, what would be your dream first date? Crimes. I want to hit enter already, but we're working towards something here. Sexy decompiling. A fierce fight that starts a lifelong rivalry. Uh, open to becoming something else. A professional meeting where you uh, charm your date with an astonishing business advice. A lovely walk in the forest after rescuing your date from a dragon. An art expedition or ex uh, exhibit uh, exhibitation. Fuck. I think I got it right the first time and now I'm just digging myself a hole. Uh, experimental enough to give you a seizure. Seizure. I think this one is Zoe. Is my thought. And I knew it. <laughs> um, sure. Um, sure. Um, sure. Um, sure. Um, sure. Um, sure. Okay, what are we looking at? We're pretty smart, considering we're a zombie, and we're supposed to be dumb. Uh, creativity, charm, and fun. Fun is okay for the time being, but we gotta work up that other stuff. Or we could work towards money. Uh, Jelly Butt Crush. 420 backers. Uh, almost 19 grand. 29 days to go. That day, you spend some time on the library's PCs, managing your start kicker. Uh, you deceive lots of people with a sensational video and impossible promises. Nice! You gain 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs and keep only two. Meanwhile, Zoe seems to have trapped Polly in some sort of eldritch binding circle. Uh, this should be good. Oh, here she goes again. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me! Girl, where's your chill? I already told you like a million times how I died. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, but each time you told me something different. Tried to fuck a toaster, suffocated by good booty, gun la- er, I thought that said gun lasagna. Gun salad, I've heard them all. But what's the truth, Polly? Huh? Seriously? Huh? It's none of your business. <laughs> no, but it is my hobby, and hobbies matter, Polly. Uh, plus, the fans have a right to know. Fans have a right to leave me the hell alone. Secrets are sexy. Uh, I don't really care about your secrets. If secrets are so sexy, then how come God invented online encyclopedia? What? You're a god! You know that's not true. Now let me out of this binding circle. I've got haunted math... or I've got haunted math next period. Sure, I'll let you out. If you tell me how you really died. See, here's the thing. I like this because this is something that get, kept getting referenced when I first played Monster Prom, about the fact that we don't know how she died, and Zoe's trying to get it out of her, so I like it. Polly gives you a pleading look. Zoe gives you an excited look. As usual, it's up to you to figure out who to help. Gee, who should I help? Should I help Polly or Zoe? Do we have any predictions in the chat? Uh, hello, sorry I haven't been a few streams. I kind of got busy. That's all good nap. I keep telling ya, it's all good. No worries about not attending streams. Everything is okay. Anyways, Polly's right. Secrets are sexy, and I'll prove it with my new uh, espionage AU. Uh, spooky Highly Classified. Uh, Zoe deserves to know the truth, and if you tell it to her, Polly, 
I will give you a huge bag of cocaine. A huge bag, Polly. Do you understand how big a huge bag is? It's huge. Yay! Ah, uh, you know, or you know that the way, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, you know that the way to my ghost heart is through my ghost nostrils. Come here, you beautiful horror. Let me give, or let me give you the gory details. Polly beckons Z Zoe over and whispers in her ear. Oh. Oh, wow. That many? Or that many, huh? Oh my god, Zoe. Your words are just gonna spawn fanfics from it. But how did the linebackers get out of there? Oh. The entire San Diego Zoo? But where would you even get that much cream cheese? <laughs> oh, I see. It was a Wednesday. Well, that pretty thoroughly answers my question. <laughs> now do you see why I didn't want to tell anyone? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. That is way too hot for the pub er, for public consumption. Your secret's safe oh. with me. Oh yes! Uh, I got to keep my secret and I get cocaine. Score! You're pretty sure Polly told another very not real story about her death. But Zoe's impressed at your negotiation skills, or negotiating skills. You leave Polly, or you leave Polly enjoy her newly acquired treat, and you and Zoe get smoothies. You gain two charm and one fun. My goal is to not get anything wrong this time. Every time I do something wrong. Okay, I want to go to the store. I want to see what's up at the store, because cause it we got something at the end of the last game, and I want to see what it is. Aw, oh, you missed me and my shit, huh? Worry no more, all this shit can be yours if you have enough money. Not me, though. Oh no. A paper map. So useless, yet so vintage. Online maps might be cool, but can you get a real paper cut with online maps? I rest my case. Hold on, I want to look it up then. I'm curious to see how you <clears throat> can use this. Uh... I'll get back to the actual game shortly. I just want to see what I can do with this. Because I assume it's like for a story quest bit. That's my assumption. Um. Okay. What does the map do, though? Where's the map? Oh. Images have stopped loading in. Well, I saw something that said a map, but I just want to make sure. Okay, cool. A map. Secret ending. I want to see this. Dahlia secret ending. Aww, oh, I don't care about that. I only care if Zoe's in it. Alright, well, I guess we'll just ignore that for today. What a waste of a turn. Uh, well, I guess I can buy something while I'm here. Pipe station. I'm gonna do this one. Because I always get this one. Yay! We're creative. We need to be sure to like control our stats a bit more though. Because I realized over time the whole difference in story when it came to this stuff. Uh, and I think it's because I had things like so close together. Like I was just like, well, I've already got the stats needed to win over Zoe. So I'll just start having everything else go up at the same rate too. That way I just feel cool. But no, I think I'm gonna try keeping things like boldness down. 
And that's about the only thing I'm worried about keeping down. Everything else should be fine. Uh, let's go for charm. Could always use more charm. Did Snoo ever go to the gym in the last one? I don't think so. So I think this is new to us. By us, I mean me. Because, um... I don't think you need Charm for Calculester, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, that day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver the normal words that you say every time. I'm gonna start skipping the beginning segments of those, because I think I've read a fair sum of them, and they get repetitive. You catch the tail end of a classic Zoe slash Calculester exchange. Perfect. But student X teacher fic, er, but student X teacher fic is super overdone. It makes me really uncomfortable because, like, the inherent imbalance of power. Like, could you imagine how problematic it would be if uh, PGs hooked up, or PGS PGs? I don't know. PGs hooked up with one of us. Yuck. Oh, what does that say? Error. Oh, those are just lines. Or that says... It looks like it has letters, possibly, but I'm not going to try reading them if they are letters. I cannot seem to recall what Principal Giant Spider looks like anyways. Image, PGS, not found. Uh, the joys of new students adjusting to the rules of Spooky High. To defeat the Huns. That is the second time I have referenced that in Monster Prom. That's a surprise. Also, get out of here, Dahlia. We don't want you. We're not going for your secret path. You there. Killing machine. And, uh, abyssal terror. Um, rude. I need an impressive uh, ally in my fight against the reign of... Leves over the eighth circle of hell. Input quippy response about your sense of fashion being from the eighth circle of hell. I have no need for your robo criticisms. What I need is the power of being beyond the average monster to aid in my glorious and righteously justified takeover. No thanks, I'd rather just write a steamy fanfiction in which you and Damien are are a crack ship uh, who hates sex just to annoy you for annoying us. We need to act now while King and King Le or LeVay are distracted by throwing an admittedly adorable theme brunch. I'm not leaving without one of you with me. Holy shit, she really means it. Time to help one of your classmates out. Uh, guess you better decide which one you don't like. School is full of tough choices. I mean, yeah, we're getting rid of Calculester, and I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, Dahlia, don't be fooled. This eldritch being is clearly under Damien's spell already. Uh, look at all these pictures she drew of Damien's shirt or of Damien's shirtless. She's a LeVay sympathizer. Uh, no, calling this robot a killing machine is inaccurate. A real killing machine would be a tank, and he's not a tank. He's so, er, so he's worthless. Go look for a tank. Uh, I'm sorry, Calculester, but I gotta do this one. What? She's drawn hundreds of these? Yes, yes I have, girl. Er, wait, no, yes, yes I have. Girl Damien from Spook at High, uh, Pirate Damien from Spooky High Seas, Dr. Damien from Spooky ICU. Why are they all so, so compelling? <laughs> because Damien is a spicy red sex bot. Tranky, are you out there? Are you seeing this? He does look very... No, Dahlia, snap out of it. The Leves, am I even saying this right? I don't know. The Lavies, the Lavies, 
The Levies must be destroyed for their arrogance and monopoly on hell. Pervy Abyssal Terror, you're out. Let's go, Killing Machine. Error label. Killing Machine, inaccurate descriptor, found file, friendship with Damien Lavi. Seriously? With the amount of violence and arson he commits, you would be, er, you would think someone in this school would be willing to betray his family. And when I find such a student, woe to the wicked, uh, the wicked, in this case being the reign of the Leves. Here's the thing, I think, I, now that I know that Dahlia has a secret story related to that map, that we got after Zoe's story. I can only assume that's probably what her story's gonna be. <laughs> Thank goodness she's gone. Uh, now we can start on that Dahlia fan or Dahlia fic. What do you think, Silaps? Damien or Dahlia as their ship name? Oh, it's yeah. Those definitely just look like misspellings of their actual names. But rather than tell Zoe. Uh, that you... Oh, wait. But rather than tell Zoe that, you enjoy her enjoyment and gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Yay! Ding dong, ding dong. Um, sure. Um, sure. Yep. So I guess, uh, we'll head on over to the outdoors where the lady is. We can buy, uh, Cool glasses for charm. Money. Good old Silaps, what's going on today? Fuck, I screwed it up. Oh no, I can't go back. Well, <sighs> way to waste a turn. You know what my favorite thing in the world is? People who buy my stuff. Be one or be gone. Well, so much for the first, or for, for that interaction. Um, sure. Um, sure. You sit down with Scott and Zoe, just as Zoe cracks open the Tupperware she brought, uh, for lunch. You're not sure what's inside, but it sounds like it's hey, screaming. Gross. Whoa, Zoe, what are you eating? Is it pizza? I love pizza. <laughs> no, Scott, it's not pizza. I'm on a special diet where I only eat sanity. Ooh, sanity. I bet that's chock full of protein. Mm. Not really. It's mostly chock full of horror. Uh, it's better fresh, but that's a lot messier. So when I come to school, I pack the leftovers in this Tupperware instead. So smart. What does sanity taste like? Well, you know when you're sucking the marrow out of an ethereal bone fragments harvested from the carcass? of a rival deity you've slain? Mm. I don't think I've ever eaten a rival deity. Do I have a rival de uh, deity? Is it fireworks? I hate fireworks. <laughs> no, 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 let's see. Have you ever drunk a child's tears filtered through its mother's severe or er, severed scalp while an orchestra plays a tuneless melody on instruments of the flesh? I've had pizza, is that close? Mm -hmm. Not really, it's more like cashews. Cashews and shrimp. Oh, cool. I knew it was high in protein. Can I try some? Can I? Well, it's not really for mortals. But Scott looks so excited. You've got to figure out a way to resolve this situation. Uh, Scott, sanity is extremely high in cholesterol. Uh, why don't you eat some cashews and shrimp smothered in, uh, this malig- er, malignant insanity, uh, hot sauce I brought. But what if Scott uses this crazy straw? I don't know if that's- is that supposed to be fun? Oh, no, I was gonna pick this one because it actually just sounds right and I think that's creativity. But then Crazy Straw just sounds fun. I don't want to get it wrong. I said I don't want to get a wrong run. But I feel like this one's dumb. Oh, but I have smarts. And I think that's dumb. So let's do this. 
There we go. Excellent. Oh, thank God I nearly made a bad mistake. Oh no. Cholesterol. The original C word. Also, eating sanity would cause your brain to invert. Uh, mutilating it like a thumbless chimpanzee angrily peeling an orange. That sounds sort of bad too, but what I'm really worried about are my arteries. Cashew me, bro. You happ or you happily oblige. Uh, one cashew, shrimp, and weaponized hot sauce cocktail coming right up. Oh, wow. This food looks like a tiny crime scene. Down the hatch. That's a lot of hot sauce, Scott. Are you sure your mortal mouth can... Oh, bro. My mouth explo or my mouth exploded. It caught on fire and exploded. No more mouth for Scott. No, Scott. I can still see your mouth. Your, but I can't see my mouth. And whose mouth is it supposed to be? Mine. So if I can't see it, it's not real. Uh, okay, dude. Sorry, can't talk. My mouth exploded, so I don't have a mouth anymore. <laughs> Oh, I like him. I like him. Scott sits quietly for the rest of lun the lunch period, growing progressively redder and sweatier uh, while you enjoy a nice time with Zoe. Nice. Yay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're having fun. Um, sure. Um, sure. All right. I guess it's time for money. Yeah, I've done the poker shtick before. You see, Zoe's talking to Polly and Scott. Oh, hey, the only other characters we've run into so far. Besides, you know, Dahlia and Calculuster, I guess. Uh, you, uh, bu -bu -bu you weigh your respect for privacy versus your uh, insatiable ambition to smooch your classmates. And as always, there's a clear winner. And then I obliterated all population within uh, the Navalan realm. I don't know if I said that right. And to date, most of their souls live within my body in utter despair. Cool. She's just too cool, man. She's just too cool. She's out of my league, but I'm still going to pursue her. Whoa, Zoe. It sounds like you used to be a hell of a prankster back in the day. You betcha. Uh, I was what you call in this realm, da shit. But I don't know, that wasn't entirely me. I mean, it kind of was for endless millennia, but I never felt as myself as I feel now. Does Great. that sound stupid? No way. As cool as Gord... Uh, sounded. Nothing's cooler than feeling happy with yourself. Word. Aw, oh, guys. What a match, losers. <laughs> okay, I felt like I went through this one before, and I think that point still stands because we're doing this again. Or rather, not necessarily this again, but dealing with, with little Kappa Leonard. Uh, that, this could be something. None. Or, wait, wait, wait. What was, what was... Hello there, friend. It is me, and I am here to save the day. That is the voice that I gave to Leonard, so let us do it. Nonsense. Oof. Hey, Leonard. Anything to add? Well, of course. I overheard you talking about how precious it is. Or precious... Uh, how precious is for you uh, to have turned from a disgusting huge thing into a high school girl. What a surprise. <sighs> what? Yeah, yeah. Now it's hot to be a minority, am I right? An endless deity of despair has turned into a girl? So brave, so unique, so bullshit. Change is so hot now, huh? People changing their identities, my childhood cartoons changing their art style, Thor changing his gender, even the climate is allegedly changing. What's next? Should we change our ideas? 
Should I change my clothes from time to time and lose my signature smell? Maybe. No, no, and no. I, Leonard, should be the last bastion of hope for common sense before we, the majority, the new minority, will fight this fight by being super obnoxious and by reminding you that you are not brave at all, unlike me, who is super brave, because I will literally never empathize with anyone else. And you can't change my mind. You just ruined my childhood! Because I fucking hate change! We totally know Zoe is capable of defending herself, uh, but if she does, her wrath might damage reality severely. Also, standing by your friends is the right thing to do, so you defend change in terms that Leonard can understand. Okay, now here's the thing. If I was doing this without knowing how the system has changed, I would have just picked uh, the top answer. Because last time I, I picked the bottom one and I was seen as a bad guy. But the thing is, it's like it's checks. Excuse me. No, I think I think we still go with top one. And we hope that it's not stupid. Leonard or er, Leonard, but you only buy your video games once their prices have changed when they go on sale. Let's hope that's the right one. So smart. Thank you, thank you. But but it can't be. Hmm. Don't you do that? Of course I do. But those lazy game devs don't deserve my precious money. Also, should I remind you that I'm an influencer? With more than 200 subscribers, it should be them paying me to play their puny games. Mm -hmm. So, you buy them on sale? Of course! Mm -hmm. Then Silaps made a point. Even if it was a tiny bit fucked up to compare my identity transition to video games going on sale. No, it can't be me, Leonard, a phony. No, no, I'll stop doing it right away. You mean you will change your behavior toward video game sales? Oh my god, we just keep backing him into a corner. Yes, well, I mean, no, but I mean, uh, uh. you fools, this is not the last of me you will see. Be ready for my revenge through a bunch of angry tweets. Nah. Whatever. What just happened? <laughs> oh, nothing, just Silaps being the best. This is so much better than the last time. Yeah. How didn't we see best way of fighting Leonard was beating him up with his own stupidity? <laughs> We're Team Zoe and Team Zoe just won. Hooray! <laughs> You're the best team ever, Narcissist. Uh, you all hug and it's the sweetest thing, uh, sweetest thing ever. Later in your secret lab, you distill the sweetness into three charm. Wow! I am so sweaty. So sweaty. Um, sure. Um, sure. Let's go back to the library so we can get that final money so we can buy the stuff from the store. Lovecraftian Prince needs your assistance. Uh, you spend some time on library PCs sending mi Oh, wait, I've already read this one before. Ten karma, two money, yay! Ugh. I've read a whole half page of a non-fiction book. I feel like my brain is gonna explode. I hate studying. Ugh, gross. No one has even made out once in this math textbook. I do like books, though. They can take you anywhere in the world. So when you pee on them, it's like you're marking your territory across the planet. That explains the wavy, crispy texture and pungent, uh, pungent odor 
uh, of a lot of your used textbooks, you wonder if it's worth trying to correct his error when... Dimitri! It is I, Dimitri. Hi, Dimitri. I don't even know what your purpose is. You just keep popping up in, in Zoe's stories. That's right. It is I, Dimitri. <laughs> and may I add, your abs are looking especially lickable today. No, Zoe. No, Zoe. If you're gonna lick anyone's abs, lick my abs. Do I have abs? I don't know. Don't lick his. <laughs> Weird, but okay. Damn it, he's Come fine with it. The dark side. Endless deity of horror and chaos. Deadly and charming beast person. Do join me on the dark Enough side. Counterpoint. Do not that. Dimitri, you made a fatal error in this plan. You have approached our classmates in the middle of the library, where they're hard at work studying. They'll never listen to your pitch. Oh, yikes. Actually, we were getting super bored with studying. So, Dimitri, go ahead and tell us uh, your thing, I guess. Nope. If you let Dimitri woo them to the dark side, how will you woo them to prom? Also, blah, 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 end of the world, the right thing, whatever. Sure, the dark side sounds cool, but the commute is terrible. Uh, why join the dark side when you could join the mark side? I don't know what checks these are. Sure, the dark side sounds cool, but the commute is terrible. That sounds like that's supposed to, like, like it's a pun, so I'm thinking fun, creativity, or smarts, but the thing is, then what's this? Why join, you can join the mark side. I, I, I'm gonna go with this and hope for the best. Okay, good, it was a smarts check. Uh, oh, come now. The commute isn't, er, is not so bad. It's just two buses, a train, a goose-drawn chariot, and then two more buses. How long does that take? Mm. Nine hours. But time flies when you spend the entire journey in unspeakable torment. Why is the torment unspeakable? Because everybody has ants in their mouths. It's all very sensible uh, and environmentally friendly. Yeah. Really? Because it sounds incredibly stupid and bad. <clears throat> oh, perhaps you're right. Forgive me. I have spent so long on the dark side, I no longer truly understand what it means to be good. You poor thing. Would you like uh, to be incorporated into a series loving... Or wait, a series-long plot arc where we teach you the truth, uh, or the true meaning of goodness? I die, die. I'll be back. I'll have to talk to my agent. Until we meet again. We'll meet again. Don't, ah, I was yawning. Then I hit a button. Don't know where. Don't know when, no, I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Anyways, uh, you expect Dimitri to vanish in a cloud of purple smoke or something, but instead he trudges off to make the nine hour journey home. You gain plus two fun and plus one smarts. Yay! Noon. Um, sure. Um, sure. Uh, I could sit with... with the dude. But I don't wanna. I wanna sit with Zoe again. I could go to the... shop now, which actually I might do. Hi, shopkeep. Hey, why would you study and prepare for your future when you can come here to buy some weird shit instead, am I right? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the glasses. You know my shtick. Bye, stranger. Goodbye. Also, holy crap, I only just noticed I have sure. 17 fun. I'm just so fun. Anyways, auditorium. Uh, oh wait, can you check the thing from going up here? No. That just, oh, there it is. Now we can see how far we are. Anyways, that day while rehearsing for class five. It's as though the muses themselves has have descended uh, to give you a figurative blowjob. I've already gotten this. New thing, please. Uh, later, you hear some discordant chants, so you go to see what's happening. Oh no, I've already done this one. Oh, Zagord, ruler of the Dark Realm, it's time to bring despair and doom upon this dimension. Gee, stop it for the last time, I'm Zo now. Can't you respect that? Is this a test on holy awfulness, testing our falls, blah blah blah. I've already done this. Oh, no, this is new. I've gotta stop assuming that it's something, something that I've seen before. I'm gonna assume the dialogue was the same, though, that's what I'm gonna say. Hey, what's happening here? Stop it, bad cultists. Leave Zoe alone. Zara specs the cultists with the roll of newspaper until they leave. Thanks, V. They're the worst, always calling me that name. Zagord, and referring to me as it. <laughs> sure, no prob. The Wolfpack is here. Hey, broskies. We had what those cult bros were saying. Is it true that you used to be a gourd bro? I guess so, in a way. But bro, the cult bros told us everything about you. They said we are good cult material. Something about how being pack-minded is a great start. So why would you go from being a giant monster to a little girl? That's so weak. Ugh. Because I didn't feel like myself. It wasn't who I truly was. Huh. That sounds complicated. Oh boy, here he is again. Don't it or wait. Hello, friends, it is I. Don't listen to her. She's lying. She obviously did that shit for attention. Now everyone changes their pronouns and identities like they're just hats. This is beneath me. You know what? I identify as an attack helicopter. Hee <laughs> hee. See what I did there? I made a clever and original joke to prove I think something that's important to you is stupid to me. You can't handle my nuanced humor. Vera says nothing. She just stabs Leonard. <laughs> she just stabs Leonard. <laughs> I wish I got this when I was playing with, with Mock, Snoo, and Trinky. I'm sure Snoo would have gotten a kick out of that. Uh, oh, that's so sweet. Thanks again. Sure, you know, we're sisters, not sisters. <laughs> no, but really... Why would you change all that? Like, you also changed your name, even your pronouns. Mm. Uh, I really want you to understand, guys. Uh, but explaining it all the time is starting to feel like a chore. So, anyone else? Don't look at me. My thing is stabbing. So it's your turn to die. Uh, you sometimes aren't born in a way you truly feel like yourself. Like, you were born as an individual, or as individual werewolves, one I guess, before becoming a wolf pack. Versus, produce a dumb action blockbuster full of explosions that unexpectedly serves as a metaphor for the nuances of identity and transitioning. I'm gonna go with this one, and I hope that's right. Okay, good. 
No, don't remind us of those dark times. We had... We had individual names, like, like, Archibald. Uh, so you felt like that too when you were the Zagord thing? I mean, it's a bit more complicated than that. I changed my name to match my identity that felt truly like mine, and left that other identity behind. Uh, and pronouns are important, because they're another way to convey the identity. Being an itch was tied to being an endless deity of despair, so I changed that. Mm. People change pronouns because language is important and defines our understanding of reality, guys. Uh, same way that some people prefer to go by they because they see themselves beyond the binary spectrum. Uh, what? What? Uh, -huh. uh. Mm. Yes, yes, Sigurd was like being a lone wolf, and Zoe is like being a wolf pack. Oh! We get it. Okay, we will try to remember that for next time. Thanks. I mean, weird metaphor, but sure. If that helps them uh, to be a tiny bit more respectful, then I guess it's baby steps. Thanks, you two, for having my back. Sometimes it gets exhausting. Sure. You go bowling all together and have lots of fun, especially because it's regular bowling and not death bowling. You all have a great time and you gain two charm and one fun. I'm just so fun. I love being fun. Um, sure. Um, sure. I love saying, um, sure. Auditorium, I need to be creative. It's time to get creative. I'm gonna skip the dialogue. Because it's the nickname one. Uh, yeah, the devs say, hey, you should do this if you're playing with people. You're rehearsing the... Or, you're rehearsing for the cult and I. And are super psyched for your big number. Shall we dance in worship of the unholy lords? Uh, but you can tell Zoe isn't really feeling it. Sorry, Silaps, I just really want to get this right, you know? I mean, plays are just the fan fiction of theater. Um, sure. I just don't know how to get into the mind of a cultist. <clears throat> well, actually, I used to literally get into the minds of cultists uh, all the time, but... That was because back then I ate their minds and fed off their insanity. Uh, but that doesn't mean I got to know and understand them. It just means they were delicious snacks. I've always been the culty, or the culty, and never the cultist. Plus, uh, some of that was like millennia ago. I'm sure cults have evolved since then. You know what? Screw it. Uh, if I'm ever going to win an Antrolet Pixie Award, or Trolley, uh, I'm going to need to go full method. What's the best way to uh, simulate an actual cultist experience? Uh, join in on the modern, less murdery, more cultery, accepted version of a cult gross fit start playing this free to play pay to win mobile game at which you can only succeed by playing 12 hours a day tricking all of your friends into joining or sacrificing a goat what one is the good choice here join in the modern less murdery more culturally I ay ay because I have no clue. Well, so what is it? What is it that we actually? 
I, I wanted to cheat, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Plus, it's gonna just be a mess, because I'm probably not gonna find it. Uh, this is not fun. This is less than ideal. Start playing. Join in. CrossFit. That sounds like creativity. Gonna try it. Fuck. Of course. Oh, of course. Nothing screams cult like weight loss programs. I had a friend who got sucked into that Skybody pyramid scheme uh, so that you look great flying. I'll go check out this so called gross fit and see exactly what all the fuss is about. Uh oh. And she does, but the next time you see her. Dude, gross fit? Not a cult at all. Is everyone funneling all their money into this organization, promising them ludicrous and unachievable amounts of happiness? Sure. Uh, are they all espousing uh, the same trite ideologies? Absolutely. But you start talking about the simplest things like blood sacrifices under the full autumn moon when the sky is ready to receive her due. And everyone freaks the heck out. Like, why? Anyway, I couldn't ask any more questions about cults uh, from the people at CrossFit because they're all dead now. Their mortal coils have been shuffled off and their souls released to all time. No clue how it happened. Thanks for nothing, Silaps. Oh, great. There goes my perfect run. Well, Zoe seems pretty pissed at you. But at least you got her to murder a bunch of innocent cr crossfitters uh, for not being culty enough? Wait, shit, no, that's bad too. Fuck, well, damn. Uh, you lose two creative er, creativity and two, one fun. But why fun? I'm supposed to be the fun um, guy. Sure. And also, why is it always with Scott? I mean, I like it, but why is it always with Scott? Looks like Scud and Zoe are having marshmallows for lunch. You say that because their cafeteria table is covered in a literal mountain of marshmallows. Zoe slams a marshmallow into her mouth. It's mildly impressive. <laughs> That's 15 marshmallows. Scud stuffs six marshmallows into his mouth at once. It's slightly more impressive. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I'm at Choo Choo. Or wait, I thought it said choo choo, but it actually just says choo, twin, choo, t, choo, three, choo. I'm the choo king of the mallow. Ugh, I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice, rival. Oh, please tell me she's going to use her multiple other mouths. Because I think she said she has eight. Zoe begins to glow purple and convulse. Uh, her tentacles swell to the smell of death itself. <clears throat> or you smell death itself. Ancient chaos, doom the world, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. A cloud of marshmallows rise up into the air, and Zoe's countless mouths all open with an infinite hunger. All the mallows flying into Zoe's gaping maws. The cafeteria windows open as all marshmallows in a 50 mile radius are summoned to their doom. It's unspeakably impressive. <laughs> hey, no fair. If I counted correctly, I've now eaten uh, 13,666. Marshmallows exactly, which means I win. Not cool. Wait, that is like very not cool. You can't use more than one mouth during an eating contest. It's cheating. Okay, quite literally. When has that ever been an established rule? How many people are going to eating contests using multiple mouths? I don't know. And I would know, because I used my hands at soccer one time, and I still feel bad about it. No way, I didn't cheat. Uh, the validity of this Im impromptu marshmallow match is my whole reason to live. 
and my whole reason to not destroy this amazing marshmallow-filled planet. <laughs> Quick, referee, this athletic dispute, or, yeah, uh, the whole planet is, is destroyed. We can't control how many mouths we have. That's not nice. Scott, are you a good boy or not? Oh, oh no, I don't want to talk down to Scott. Scott, play smart and be creative. Uh, don't you have many other holes you could use to win? I, I don't know if this is... I think this is just a character check. I don't think it has anything to do with our abilities. I don't think. Okay, good. Scott's eyes widen in primal fear. Wait, I'm sorry, Zoe. I want to be a good boy. I don't want to be a not good boy. Or, I don't want to be not a good boy. Waits or wait, Scott. Who's a good boy again? It's me, Scott. <laughs> who's a good boy? <laughs> me. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. It's my favorite. It's my favorite friendship so far. I don't know if that's true or not. I'd have to think on it a bit more, but I like it. And I guess I'm uh, I'm the winner, mounts and all. Zoe may have won the marshmallow battle, but you'll win the marshmallow prom date demon friendship war. That's oddly specific. Ding dong bing um, bong. Sure. Um, sure. Okay, our creativity went down earlier, so let's become creative for the third time in a row. You're chilling with Zoe, watching her draw cute little chibi characters getting eaten by nightmare fluid when Leonard slides into your midst. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta I gotta open up myself to the voice again. Hello there, friends, it is I. Okay. Hey, your art's not bad for a girl. I might have a major opportunity for you. Oh, I've seen this one though. This is like one of the first few... Okay, actually, come to think of it, I said before, I've never seen Zoe until I uh, picked up like the DLC for this. I have seen Zoe before, because I've seen this interaction with Leonard like way back when. Uh, oh, cool. As much as I hate your casual sexism, I love opportunities. What's up? I'm looking for someone to do custom drawing for my YouTube channel. It'll be me, but with sunglasses and my muscles are huge. And you can tell from my facial hair that I'm right about it. Or about everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Or I could probably do that. No guarantee that it won't drive your viewers insane, though. <laughs> If they go insane, then they weren't t true fans to begin with. <laughs> Great, let's talk a little more about what you want. And then, can we negotiate a price for the commission? Excuse me, price? Exposure to my 284 YouTube subscribers isn't good enough for you? Well, he's, he's gained... 84 subscribers since our last interaction. Good job, Leonard. Yay, Leonard. Yay. Excuse me. What? <clears throat> no. Wow. Typical. Here I am trying to give you the opportunity of a lifetime, and you can't think of anything but money? Did you hear me when I said... How many subscribers I have? A uh, 284! And that's just right now. By the end of this weekend, it could easily be 285 or 286. And from there, it's just a few orders of magnitude until I hit 600. I have to get my YouTube channel. Like, I have to start posting videos on that so I can pass up Leonard. I need to have more subscribers than Leonard. If you guys go to YouTube and search up Psylapse, you should subscribe to Psylapse. I haven't uploaded in over a year on that. And Psylapse VODs is only at 13 subscribers, so it's a lot further away. Whereas Psylapse Normal is 202. 
So, you know, go f go subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can beat Leonard. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, sorry, I hit my mic there because I was doing a thing. A real savvy artist would understand the value of getting in good with me while I'm still on the rise. This could be huge for you. Anyways, TLDR, no cash right now. I'm investing all my capital in my craft in the hopes of maybe someday becoming a YouTube sensation. Mm. You're an artist. Do it for the love of art, or love of the art, or whatever dumb fucking reason artists have for doing art shit. As Leonard pours more and more garbage words out of his mouth, you can feel the air around Zoe turning into pink tentacles of wrath. Uh-oh. If you can't broker a deal between these two, who knows what will happen to reality. Maybe you can convince Leonard to pay with something other than money. Uh, why don't you pay with one of your kidneys? I mean, you've already got two. Uh, and once you... Or, er, and once your YouTube, sen your YouTube sensation, you can buy as many kidneys as you want. Not a bad idea. However, what check is that? Is that a smarts check? If it's a smart, it might be a smarts or a creativity. Uh, if all you've got right now is hope for the future, why not pay with your future? Pledge to be Zoe's uh, in indeterred servant from ages 32 to 36. I like the first one better. It just sounds right. Hard pass. What was the first one again? Because maybe it's something that Zoe would not care for. Because it was, uh... Shoot, I've already forgotten. Well, I guess we've failed again. And I feel like this was on a path. Because Leonard popping up feels, feels like an event. Um, excuse me? What in the nine dimensions of unspeakable torment makes you think you can negotiate on my behalf? I have no interest in Kappa Kidneys. Oh, is the kidneys right? Ah, oh, come to think of it, why the hell would I do kidneys? She's not gonna want kidneys. Mm -hmm. You know, the kidneys of David, uh, Boranza, or Boranez, acclaimed star of TV's Angel. Those are collector's items. These kidneys, though, I wouldn't eat them for the buh 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 firefly. I skipped it because I hit enter again. Fine. I'll take my limited edition signed kidneys elsewhere. Congratulations on missing out on a once in a lifetime exposure opportunity. Leonard flounces away. Wait, does he really have his kidneys signed uh, by the entire cast of Firefly? Uh. Now you're kind of jealous. You lose two fun and one smarts. It said, not so bold, but my boldness is five, and I thought the other one was going to be like a boldness check. So I was thinking, oh, you know, that's not good, because my boldness is so low. But apparently that's the way I was supposed to go. Damn it. <laughs> and I think if this was on a special path, um, I just broke sure. off of it. I lost. Well, great. Just grand. I guess I'm going to go to the gym and become charming. So I was playing FOF. Oh, wait. Maybe the plot line is still going on. Oh, I was playing FOF. Or. Ooh, I was playing FOF. I'm Zoe, and I was playing FOF. I hope that stands for fuck off, faker, because that's what you are. You're a faker. What? How do you figure, Leonard? I was just trying to tell Silaps how much fun I was having. Being a fake gamer, girl? Because if you were a real gamer girl, you wouldn't need to talk about how fun games are. You would just be playing them. 
A real fan doesn't go around shoving their fanness in people's faces. That's just what girls do because they're just doing it for attention. Leonard, literally all you do is try to prove that you're a real fan. You're the one who interrupted this perfectly normal conversation. Fake conversation? Leonard. A fake Leonard. No, wait. Real Leonard. Girls are the fake ones. So, are you saying there are no real Game of Girls? I thought I had met one. Once. She wasn't like all the other girls. Right up until she was, when the bitch friend zoned me, and we er, and went to and dated some asshole, Chad Cabra. Wait, how did that have anything to do with her interest in gaming? Poor Zoe. She's new. She's new enough to this world, being a high school girl thing. Uh, that she has no idea that there is no reasoning with Leonard's, uh, with the Leonard's of the world. Sorry, I had to do a thing. Uh, not to be a white knight or anything, but you really should step in and find a way to distract Leonard so you and Zoe can discuss absolute or absolutely gender-neutral topics like gaming and peace. Distract Leonard by finally creating the perfect real gamer girl profile on Twitter. Tell Leonard that you heard someone saying uh, there's no wrong way to play video games. I don't know. Okay, this one feels like creativity... Or... Could be boldness or smarts. God, I don't want to get anything else wrong. Tell Leonard that you heard someone saying there's no way to play... Or there's no wrong way to play video games. That doesn't seem like bold. That seems like smart. But the thing is, I don't know if that's... I'm gonna smack myself in the face if I pick this wrong. There's no wrong way to play video games. It sounds like it's supposed to send them away. And that sounds like it'd be smart. But then this one is distract Leonard by finally creating that. That could be smart. That could be creativity. Uh, <laughs> Why do I have to have these struggles? Now I'm going to hit this one. Can I just do it right? I want to impress the girl. Why am I so bad at figuring out how to win the video game? Please, Zoe, give me another chance. I've already failed this path two times. But give me a third one so that I can make a comeback. And win you over in this way. Please, otherwise I will simply be depressed. Anyways, back to this game that I fucking hate because I suck at it. Oh, cupping my mouth and my hands really made me sweaty. I'm so covered in sweat and I hate it. Uh, yes, I also heard that. They were saying... Every way of enjoying video games is valid as long as it's fulfilling for you personally. Of course there are no wrong answers to enjoy video games. Oh, really? I'm kind of surprised. I would have figured you... Because the more wrong the way you enjoy video games is, the more pleasure I get from getting to tell you how wrong you are. If everyone only liked video games in a way where they were constantly providing it that they loved video games, the most, uh, and shoving that superiority into everyone else's faces, then how could I prove that I love video games 
the most and sure or shove that into everyone else's faces. You know, I'm thinking on it now, and the thing is, it's like, I wanted to do the first one, I thought that'd be nice, but then I was like, no, I feel like the bottom one is the right one, because it's just, it seems more realistic. Oh, distract him by telling someone off in the distance did something. But no, I screwed it up again. Here, let me show you. He does, and it's awful that you lose three charm. Uh, you and Zoe never even get to finish your conversation. Lame. Uh, can I just do this right? Um, sure. Okay, cool. There's three of them at a table now. Let's go say hi. In a totally normal way, Liam happens to sit down at uh, the same lunch table as the Coven. Suddenly, you hear a loud gasp from across the cafeteria. Every single one of Zoe's mouths is hanging open. You pull up a chair right as Zoe rushes o over. M G. Whoa! Is that what I think it is? Liam and the Coven sitting together? Do I smell a fifth season revival? Drop it. And by the way, there are only three seasons. Fall, winter, and eternal t uh, contemplation of the void. Oh my god, this is totally a classic return of a long last ally. Or a long lost ally. To save the world once again. Or maybe there's just some fire between Liam and Joy. Do you know anything about boundaries? Hmm, not really. The same with you. Listen, you. We're no longer allies, but that doesn't mean we, can, we can't sit at the same table or anything. It is literally just a lunch table. Just a flat piece of wood with four legs. It means nothing. Quickly, use your boundless compassion and wisdom to mediate this minor dispute between your friends. That's exactly what someone would say if they were hiding a secret, double-crossing, mid-season re uh, reveal alliance romance. That's oddly specific. Is that boldness? I don't know. I think we're missing the real chemistry here. Uh, that lunch table is giving serious fuck-me eyes uh, to the cafeteria floor. That sounds like boldness. There we go. Gasp! Did you just say the word gasp, like, out loud, instead of just gasping? We love Zoe. She is our favorite. Because that's literally one of my favorite things just any media does. When it's just they say the, the abbreviated words. Is it an abbreviation? No. It's automatopoeia, I think, if I remember correctly. But it's like, I love when it's just sounds, but put into the word, and they just say the word. It's my favorite. Especially gasp. Gasp is the most common one. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting used to uh, non-endless despair deities emotion sounds. Uh, like, psh, and, oomph, and especially, <laughs> But you're totally right! This is obviously a ploy to keep me off the scent. Holy moly, I can't wait for this season! <laughs> Zoe looks overjoyed. You better start practicing your own emotion sounds. Yay! Pizzas! Or wait, pizzazz? Pizzazz? And smooch. Um, sure. Um, sure. Guess we're going to the gym because we lost that charm from our last interaction. And we do the epic dodgeball thing and talk to Zoe again. In the next game, you end up on a team with Vera, Zoe, and Polly, the dream team. This is actually different from our last group team. I'm curious how it'll play out. For your ideal foursome, uh, but for dodgeball, not so much. 
They don't really even seem to want to be here. Uh. I can't believe we're stuck in this interdimensional... Or wait, interminable, minable sporting event when we could be doing something so much more productive. Yeah, like hiding in a bathroom stong to learn my classmates' secrets and add them to my fanfic. Or hiding in a bathroom stall for sex reasons. I was going to say taking over a small South American country, uh, but to each their own, I suppose. They're both just going to go to the bathroom, whereas she's going to South America. That is the journey we are now on. Uh, whatever. I bet you could do that in the bath or in a bathroom stall too. You're smart. But we won't be able to do anything in any bathroom stalls unless we stop this dumb dodgeball game. It's been going on forever. Seriously, I'm pretty sure I subjected the minds of my victims to eternal torments that were shorter than this match. You suspect that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but who cares? This is your chance to get uh, getting good with your dream team by dreaming up a way to end the match. Mustard gas. Oh, that's that sounds like boldness. That sounds like boldness, and something tells me that's not going to work. Convince coach that dodgeball has to be stopped because it's cultural appropriation. I don't care if it's wrong. Not so bold. What do you mean, not so bold? It's mustard gas. How are you telling me going to the coach and saying it's cultural appreciation isn't freaking bold? <laughs> like, I'm saying mustard gas. Uh, you took a jar of 10 year old. Oh, it's that type of mustard. Your okay. failure. Uh, that reeks worse than a corpse wrapped in anchovies. Luckily, I don't have a nose, but my other 11 senses are totally grossed out. Ew, food. Suck it up, everybody. You know what they say when life gives you old mustard, play dodgeball. Nobody says that. But there's no reason, or there's no reasoning with coach when it comes to dodgeball. You still have to play, but now you have to play in a room that smells like hot dog's armpit. You lose stuff because I can't make good decisions. Why am I so I'm terrible? Sure. I hate it. <laughs> okay, where to now? I guess go auditorium. Can we succeed this time, please? I've had too many losses back to back. You notice Zoe with a big grin on uh, the amalgam. A chaotic nightmare she has form. I think I've had this one before. Yeah, I've had this one before. Wait, that means that this is still on that route. In in theory. Silaps, hey, guess what? My latest comic, Who Watches the Watchmen Have Sex, just got published in Weird Tales magazine. I worked so hard on it, and it's finally out there in the in the world. Nothing can ruin this moment for me. That sounds like a challenge. Leonard, come on. Why do you always have to slide into my DMs, delighted moods? Because I must shed light on injustice wherever it arises. What about world hunger, global warming, income inequality, human trafficking? You didn't let me finish. I must shed light on injustice wherever it arises. In the world of fandom, specifically. Oh, cool. Social justice warriors win again, sir. It is not cool, Zoe. It is not cool that publishing houses are showering attention on marginalized authors just because inclusivity, inclusivity is hot right now. I mean, look at you. You've got it all. You're purple. You're allegedly a woman. You come from a er, uh, hideous dimension beyond mortal comprehension. Any magazine would die to be able to associate with, uh, with its brand. But it's all a shallow marketing stunt. And what's m worse, it's distracting from the real injustice that the liberal media is too scared to discuss. 
What about the artists who aren't part of some cool, sexy, underrepresented minority? What about us? How are we supposed to get recognized? If I was to entertain all the BS you just said, I'd say, I don't know, maybe throw a combination of talent and the numerous connections and avenues you have available to you as a privileged member of society? Hold on, I want to quickly see something. I want to see so. No, that didn't work. That is too bad. Guess that's it. Okay. I am back. Uh, don't you use the P word around me, Missy. If I'm so privileged, then how come my comic, Zombie Sluts on Fuck Island, still has yet to be published? Because you spend, I closed it because I wanted to quickly check what the time is. It's only, or it's already 102. Because you spend all your time complaining about non-existent obstacles instead of getting better at art. Hmm, perhaps you have a point. Oh no, wait, I forgot you were a girl. This can't possibly be my fault. It's much more likely that the entire industry is biased against me. Ugh. Look, er, looks like there's only one way to solve this. You're way ahead of her. You select the only option that makes sense. I think I still go with this one. Are you fucking kidding? What's wrong with it? Why do we need a sorting hat? Why was a sorting hat smart? How is a sorting hat the better option than that? Seriously, where's the sorting hat in this? You're saving the gem of Grotto to resurrect your family in case they all die. You, uh, you reach into the nether realm and summon these four. Wait a second, these aren't famous painters. These are the stars of Senior Regular Samurai Frogs, a classic cartoon from a simpler time. Velazquez, or Velazquez, you like my comic better, right? Um, hey dude, says that. Thanks for bringing us back from hell in which we now reside, but, uh, you don't. I skipped the dialogue by accident. Nope, says El Gaga. All we know about is Warrior's Code and eating Spoiler, lasagna. You suck. I knew it. Cute prank, Silaps, but totally useless. Woof. Now what are we going to do if your whole family gets killed for some reason? You lose that and that. Great, I am doing amazing at this. Can I just fucking succeed? I want to succeed. You sit down with Zoe and Miranda. Miranda is paying no attention to her eating serfs, and Zoe is paying too much attention to them. What are you doing, Zoe? Don't you know how rude it is to ogle another woman's eating serfs? I'm not ogling, I'm researching for my fanfic. My dear, when it is about royalty, it is not called fanfic. It is called propaganda. Mm. What? Oh, I'm not writing about you right now. I'm writing about your eating serfs. <gasps> what? Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm going to really dive into their inner lives, their hopes, their dreams, des <laughs> and desires. Oh, don't be silly. Serfs don't have any of those things. Do they, serfs? The eating serfs' eyes dart between Miranda and Zoe, terrified. Should they speak or just shut up and eat? <laughs> You're right, Miranda. Most serfs don't have any thoughts or feelings. Only the really expensive and rare ones. Make menacing eye contact with the two serfs, silently place a piece of sushi in your mouth, and chew violently. Let's do it! Although that seems like it's a bold option now. Fuck it. What? Why did I go with Miranda? I didn't mean to go with Miranda. I thought I was like gonna threaten them into speaking. 
since Miranda's eating serfs are fish people, this is a... a, a I'm sorry for what I'm about to say, but your show-off intimidation really makes Miranda's serfs clam up. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, subtle threats of violence, a true sign of what? royal... Uh, what is it with mortals and not wanting their flesh eaten? It's such a weird hang-up. If by weird you mean useful for controlling the masses, then I suppose I agree. The eating serfs try their best to ignore you as they stuff food into their quivering mouths. You feel like you did the right thing, but you don't have much of a conscience, so that's not saying that much. Anyway, Miranda's happy. Fuck Miranda, I hate her. Can I stop making um, all the wrong sure. choices? Brian, I'm sorry, but you're just awful at this, man. And my fun used to be 18. Guess I'll try fun and see what that's all about. Man. The thing is, I should have the stats to... It went over Zoe, but it's like I've screwed up so many things. That day during recess, you start to do this, but I ignore it. Too fun. Zoe approaches you, looking full of joy and excitement. Silapse, Monster Prom is so close that I've started looking at dresses. Uh, look at this one. Don't you think it will totally highlight uh, the sliminess of my tentacles? Oh, please let me get redemption. This is my last chance. This is my last chance for a redemption arc. Stop right there, you purple tentacle fake idiot. Hmm. Oh, hi, Leonard. <laughs> you can wear as many dresses as you want, but that won't make you a real girl. You aren't fooling anyone. Dude, my identity has nothing to do with con uh, convincing anyone. I'm going to wear a dress because I fucking want to. It's about me, not about you. It has everything to do with me. What if I finally meet a real gamer girl and she turns out to be an ins insidious faker like you? Just... Wow. Shut up, you Zorg idiot. Dead naming me and insulting me all in one word? Boy, that imaginary real gamer girl sure is lucky. I really try not to let jerks like you get to me. But sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just turn your kidneys into rabid raccoons. If only to save people from listening to your harmful bullshit. What's up, snowflakes? That's offensive. You're attacking my freedom of speech. It's my freedom to insult people and make everyone hey, miserable. Noobs. Hey noobs, what's up? Ah, Jamian. Good thing you're here. Tell this stupid faker she can't stop us from insulting anyone or calling her Zagord or whatever she wants to call her. Dot dot dot. Damien carefully lights Leonard on fire. Social justice warriors win again, <laughs> You fucking SJWs are always so offended by everything. Die! <laughs> okay, great. I didn't get my redemption because Damien stepped in and did it. Wow, Damien, thanks. I thought for a moment you were joining him. Eh, no fuck. I might be an asshole, but I'm not a bigot. And struggling with defining yourself that's harsh damn like who should i be a violent hell commander a talented hairdresser sometimes i feel like the reason i'm so angry half the time is because everyone is expecting me to be this or that even myself it's like i don't know i'm not good with words and i know your thing is different but it's like the whole endless despair deity is very metal, sure, but exploring your own truth and fighting to define yourself in your own terms. T in your own terms? Uh, fuck, Zoe, that's twice as metal. It's pretty damn admirable. Damien. Oh no, don't tell me she goes with Damien. But before you can keep going with this emotional moment, someone else appears. All hail Zagord. Zagord. Our sacred awfulness. 
Here you are, still trapped under this deceitful form. Let us perform a ritual to free you from that puny carcass. Not again. Do you want me to light them on fire too? No, it's useless. They keep coming and coming. These idiots are by the, or by the thousands at least. It's my punishment for spending millennia tormenting mortals, I guess. Damien was all hot and sensitive back then, uh, but now it's your time to shine. Hey, that's the bonus game in your turn to die. Uh, well, actually, I think it's your time or your turn to sh no, it is your time to shine. If you could only come up with a plan that uh, to make the cultists leave Zoe alone for good. Oh, this is my final chance. This is my final chance, and I am gonna get it wrong. I know I am. But this is my last chance. Don't let this puny, tentacled mortal girl to deceive you. Zagord is really trapped inside this ancient totem. Okay, I think that's smarts. You need something to sat er, that satisfies their need for mindless uh, adoration and pack behavior. Introduce them to K-pop. Fuck, that seems like... Would that be fun or creativity or... I don't know and I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna look it up. I don't care. Uh, because I don't want to get it wrong. Oh wait, actually, maybe I should actually say what my pick is before uh, doing the bit. So I want to go. I got. I want to go with the top one. But I feel like that one, if it's a fun check. Or a creativity check. It's like that one sounds right. So I'm gonna make sure I get this right. Uh, but I'm gonna say the one I'd go with is is the top one. If I can just find the wiki. Fun fact: I'm on a wiki. So that's fun. Okay, cool. Hello, there she is. There is Zoe. Now then, Zoe. Let us quickly examine your stuff and see... Uh, bits. I can only assume it's this path that we're probably on. Yeah, I was right. It is this one. Oh, it's a charm check. Charm versus fun. Okay. So, if I picked the one I wanted to go with... Wait a second. Is it Charm vs. Fun? Is it actually Charm vs. Fun? Um, it's Charm vs. Fun. But both of them are the same. I don't know if there's a wrong answer here. Uh... I guess... I feel like the thing is, they're gonna know for sure that she is Zagord. So it's like, oh, you can't fool us. Because we know that she's been released. So then it's like, maybe this? Oh. So blasphemous. Oh. How did I screw up the last one? It was charm, it was fun. It split the exact same. Why is... No Psylapse, don't do that, but it's too late. The cult members are super hooked on K-pop because they're a mindless pack of oriented disposal. No, no, no. What's the matter, Zoe? They seem more focused on that Korean thing bothering you. You don't know them. They worship their... How do I pick the wrong one every time? 
I just want to win the girl. No, wait, that sounds like, like, like treating her as something to achieve. But I mean, I want to win her over, is what I mean to say. But I keep picking all the wrong options. But can anybody blame me? Because they're, it's charm and fun. And they're the same. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Fuck yeah, they are. Soon, they have turned K-pop into a very cultish thing. Spraying beliefs among K-pop fans. Now the fans aren't sharing cute pics of their fan idols on Twitter or Tumblr. Instead, they sacrifice goats, wear sinister robes, and fuck. Whoa, you were right. They are super good at culting. Yep. Thanks for nothing, Psylops. You've ruined K-pop forever. Damien is great. Smarts and fun went down. Great. You really fucked it up this time, huh? The cultists are so grateful to you for showing them the ways of K-pop that they send you dead goats every week. It's gross. Great. Is she even going to accept me this time? I think I just kind of piss her off most of the time. Well, I mean, I have nothing else to do, so I gotta try. Um, sure. Um, sure. Finally, pluck up the courage to ask your beloved to go to the monster farm with you. Oh, sweet. Straight to it. Oh, honey, I'd love to. But the thing is, yeah, okay. But the thing is, you know, Zoe plus Silapse doesn't add up to any funny or cool ship names. And everyone knows that's the first rule of choosing a date. I mean, yeah, I can get behind that. Oh, no. Spoiler alert, you suck. So, not this time, okay? Call me if by chance you change your name in the future, What's though. This? A bad pick? Oh, <laughs> failing at Monster Prom broke the essential process of growing up in your life. I got an achievement. What was that achievement? Let me take a look at that achievement. I think it was just, you know, first rejection, but... No, Steam's not loading up. It's actually taking a while. So I guess I'll just go back to Monster Phone and check it later, but... Fuck! Uh, <laughs> oh, Steam loaded up. Let's take a look. Uh, where was it? What game was it? Well, not what game was it, but I mean, what category did I put it in? Okay, cool. I did it. I did it. Uh, Epic Loser, you've been rejected for the first time. 79.3% of players have this achievement. Yay! Great. I f I'm depressed. I'm sad. I'm having no fun. Everything went wrong. Uh, <laughs> you became fixated on it, and you never became a functional adult. Now you're just an old person that sits at parks and talks to strangers about the time you almost got a date to the monster prom. It is a weird and sad, or it is as weird and sad as it sounds. Most likely to survive for your drinking only his own pee. Uh, Zoe's quote: "I came here as an elder, now I leave as cutie. Cool, great. So glad I could fail. Yeah." Those six weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After months of prom, we kept living our lives, falling in love, battling, friendship, and learning uh, about who we were and where we are. Uh, and you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and this is a wonderful... Zoe dedicated the next several years to writing her most ambitious fan fiction ever. It focused on the struggles of a shy. I've already seen that. Okay. Polly graduated from doing lots of uh, that, and now she appears to hallucinating people and acts as their spirit animal. Liam Hone did his most admirable skill and got a job with it. Uh, he now designs 
Um, and then to go to filters. Who's Liam? I forget who Liam is. Is that the hipster? I'm gonna guess it's the hipster. For those six weeks, months, prom stuff happened. Oh, yay. Happy noises, because the game is over. We've seen these credits, so I'm skipping out. Great, I unlocked stuff, but who cares? Okay, that was Monster Prom, and I lost it. Man. Man. I just scuffed it so bad. I, I kept making every single wrong decision in that. And it's like, why? Why could I not just pick correctly? I hate that it's not the same every time. It's like, it makes for a good choice-based game, but it's like, why? And also, why is it that... Like, how am I supposed to pick the right one out of those last two options? Because the thing is, the site I'm looking at, it doesn't say that there's a good option and a bad option. It's saying that the options are between one being fun and the other being charming. And my fun and charming were both the same. So it's like, it's a coin flip. I should have done, I should have just done like an RNG bit. Oh, I think I'd have better luck then. Anyways, next time we play Monster Prom, we're going to go after Zoe again. And we're going to see if we can get an ending that isn't the, the cultist one. Hopefully we get an identity again, because that's the one I lost two times in a row already. So yeah, let's let's go raid somebody, and I, I'm, I know who I'm raiding because they're still alive. Uh, I don't know if they're going to end soon, but I'm going to raid them right away. And then I'm going to get the most sleep I've gotten in a long while. So we're going to raid Mr. Bugsy Wants to Battle. Way to go. He's been streaming for a little bit already, so I don't know if he's close to ending or not, or if he'll continue. But it is what it is. Go say hi, show him some appreciation. I'm sad. Goodbye.